All right, Jay, well, 1.6 million middle and high school students use e-cigarettes or vape, according to new data from the CDC. But tonight, the Sandusky County Public Health Department, along with a group of art and photography students at Fremont Ross, are encouraging the youth to put down the vapes. Yeah, and 13 Action News reporter Alexandria Manthe live in studio with a story new at 11 tonight. Alex. Yes, it's an art display called the Clouded Futures Exhibit. The pieces focus on how vaping has impacted youth culture in their school and the community. And these students say they've lived it firsthand. They're just everywhere. It's an epidemic these students can't escape. A lot of people don't use the bathrooms to go to the bathroom anymore. It's more as in they go in there to have a vape break. Their peers passing an e-cigarette under a bathroom stall or disguising them within their school supplies. One group of students from Fremont Ross High School are using this as an inspiration for their artwork to raise awareness for the dangers of vaping. And it's just a recreation of what I see almost on a daily basis. Evan Luke's piece showing the littering of vapes he sees all the time. Another sculpture displaying the impact on your lungs. We just kind of thought about like how people might think that vaping looks like on the outside versus how it actually is, like how it can affect you like inside. According to the CDC, 5.9% of middle and high school students use e-cigarettes and on the local level. In Sandusky County, about 10% of our youth are vaping. Jamie Belcher with the Sandusky County Health Department says a lot of these products are marketed as healthy, but can actually be much worse than a cigarette. So your lowest device count these days um, is about 2,000 puffs, so that's about 10 packs of cigarettes or a carton of cigarettes worth of nicotine in a single device. Because human brains aren't fully developed until about 25 years old, teens can get addicted faster than adults. It slowly becomes the only thing that is on their brain and the only thing that they focus on to the point where they're skipping class. But these students are hoping to send a message, one photo and sculpture at a time. Representatives with the health department tell me the entire exhibit was paid for with a tobacco use prevention and cessation grant from the Ohio Department of Health, showcasing student voices to educate others. Back to you. Alexandria, thank you. New information from the 13 Action News I team.